how does one recognize they are in a cult? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is from an interview uh, on the Cindy Davis Show with uh, Dr. Hugh Forston, Jr. He's one of the few Jonestown survivors. And um, the question becomes, okay, what is a cult? You know, some people will say, well, any religion is a cult, you know, but that's not true. Not all religions are cults. Not all cults are religions. You know, I think the best way to describe it would be to say a cult is really all about power and control and obedience. And another way to describe it is a cult takes, you know, people's good impulses and turns them in a bad way. In fact, uh, Deborah Layton alludes to this. Nobody joins a cult. Nobody joins something they think is going to hurt them. You join a religious organization, you join a political movement, and you join with people that you really like. For a little history, people who joined the People's Temple joined because they wanted to do good in the world. They wanted to improve themselves, they wanted to improve society, they wanted to bring out social justice. Now, when you compare that to people who were taken in by the Trump cult, what did they want? You know, they wanted jobs, they wanted to make America great, they wanted to drain the swamp. But the fact is, in the case of either Trump or Jim Jones, what they've done is they've been corruptors. But what do I mean by corruptor? Well, let's start with the emoluments clause. And no person holding any office or profit or trust under them shall without the consent of the Congress accept of any president, emolument, office, or title of any kind, whatever, from any king, prince, or foreign state. So, in other words, you're not allowed to accept anything of any real value. Sure, you can have a dinner, you know, you can accept gifts of a uh, very low value, like, say, less than $20, but you're not allowed to accept any money, anything of value, uh, and what presidents used to do is they used to divest themselves. They used to take their assets, put it in a blind trust. That way, you know, you couldn't bribe them. And forget about quid pro quo. You're not allowed to accept anything of any value from anybody who is not American. So when the Saudis buy up rooms at the Trump Tower, that's not okay. When Trump tries to promote his businesses abroad, instead of promoting American ideals, that's, again, that's not okay, you know. If you're given the office of the president, you're not supposed to abuse it. You're supposed to represent America. Anyway, let's go back to Hugh Forston Jr., because this is kind of what he talks about, you know. He, and, um, you're supposed to remain true, you know. In his case, he was talking about the gospel and to religion, and instead of, you know, trying to trick people and con people and try to turn it upon yourself. But anyway, let's go back to Hugh Forston and hear what he has to say about a cult. How does one recognize they are in a cult? Yeah. When they can see that this leader, male or female, begin to talk that I syndrome. Mm -hmm. I do this, I do it this way, I do it that way. When they begin to move away from the basic principles of teaching the Word of God and not making it work for them or, or changing the words out of it or using just a piece of scripture and the rest is, is their philosophy. Some people see a great deal of God in my body. They see Christ in me, a hope of glory. I am the chosen one. Okay, I'll admit there's some disturbing similarities between Trump and Jim Jones, but, you know, uh, you also have to look at the followers, right? It's not like the followers are all brainwashed idiots who think Trump is the chosen one. Um, wait, hold on a second. There is? God's used uh, imperfect people all through history. King David wasn't perfect. Uh, Saul wasn't perfect. Solomon wasn't perfect. Uh, and I actually gave the president... Uh, a little one-pager on those Old Testament kings about a month ago. Hmm. And I shared it with him. I said, Mr. President, I know there are people that say, you know, you, you said you were the chosen one. Uh, and and I, I said, you were. 
I said, if, if you're a believing Christian, you understand God's plan uh, for the people who uh, rule and, 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 and judge over us on, on this planet in our, in our government. As you can imagine, you know, Fox went into heavy damage control mode, you know, tried to save Rick Perry, you know, they went full-blown into the apologetics. But there really is a difference between someone who is religious and kind of someone who's cultish, right? Uh, for example, a religious person is humble. You know, a religious person would never claim to be God or to speak for God or to, you know, have some, possess some kind of infallibility. And so I'd like to finish out the video so that people can actually see what someone who is religious but isn't nuts, you know, how they would handle situations. Father, I've come to ask you to bless me. Yeah. If you're right, you'll have God's blessing. If you're wrong, my blessing won't mean anything. 